who is the CEO of NAFTA Gas. Lexi, thank you so much for joining us. There's been a significant progress when it comes to the gas position in Ukraine, despite the impact of the war that is still ongoing. Just tell us about the energy independence you've achieved so, so far. Thank you. Energy independence is the crucial thing, especially when you're at war. I think Ukraine has reached its target to be energy independent, at least within the natural gas. Last year, Ukraine has increased its gas production by 7%, which is extraordinary step during the full-scale war, given the fact that the main areas of production are in the east of the country. So now we are satisfying our needs in gas and uh, looking forward to become a net contributor within several years. The situation you faced on the ground has been much more intense than in Europe, but the dynamics in some ways about trying to trim demand but also bolster supply has been somewhat apparent in both parts of Europe. Just explain to us what you're seeing on the consumption side, because we know the economy has shrunk since the invasion. Yeah, obviously, uh, this result also has been reached because uh, of the fact uh, of consumption. Uh, we obviously have less economy due to the fact of serious damages of it, and uh, production zones and industrial zones are heavily affected, as well as we ultimately have less people in the country right now. So all these factors uh, balanced overall production and consumption volumes. And right now I'm happy to say that this year, this winter is the first winter that Ukraine is going solely on Ukrainian gas. What are we seeing in terms of storage levels? Because this has been a challenge everywhere to ensure there are enough supplies to meet future potential demand. It's interesting to admit, uh, Ukraine owns the biggest underground storages in the whole Europe. We have 31 billion cubic meters of storages that can be offered not only to Ukrainian storage, but to the European traders and energy companies. This winter and preparing for this winter, I think we have agreed and motivated some of the European energy companies to store gas in Ukraine right now. And we have 2.5 billion cubic meters of European gas stored in Ukraine, which is extraordinary. And here in Davos, uh, we had several meetings with major players in the energy trading, and hopefully we might double this number until the next winter. Which is interesting because we've had President Zelensky here and there have been very strong messages from him, from him about the risk of a frozen conflict, that if even there's a pause that's achieved, that Putin could double down and come back again at your country. So th those warnings are very stark. When it comes to the level of engagement, would you say that is moving in the right direction still to protect your country? Of course, the plans that uh, I have just uh, mentioned uh, are very much conditional to the development of the war scenario. And uh, that is why we are looking forward for stability of production and stability of supply, uh, sustainable delivery and distribution of gas and electricity and other forms of energy in Ukraine. Of course, we are dependent of the scenario of the war and uh, the positive results of Ukrainian army.